And gotta love the Bricklink comics. It looks like the vlog <clears throat> is now good, so then I'll just quickly publish that and then let it load slowly. All right, so that one seems to be good now. And then I just brought these down from upstairs. I brought them down looking at the time. I don't think I'll be able to part these out tonight, so I'll just bring them down, and then on Monday or so, if I remember, that is, I'll try to part these guys out. So I'll just add them to the pile over here, and hopefully nothing falls. I ordered a couple more sets from Toys R Us. I'm hoping to be able to get at least a couple more. Um, so that'll be good, and... So yeah, then I'll probably just finish listing these guys here, and then I might just start tackling some of the Chima stuff, and, because that's the drawer that's just kind of on the bottom. Why is there a hot torso in there? You see that? Um, that's not supposed to be in there. One second. Let's just quickly open this, and remove that. All right, I removed the hot torso, so then I just find the hot drawer. I put the hot torso in the hot drawer, and then I just put this back, and then let stuff start falling out, apparently, and it's still falling out, so then I'll just keep that like that, so yeah, then I'll try to just quickly finish up listing these guys, a lot of them are just too damaged to list, like, I mean, is there even a pattern on this thing, like, who knows, but there's always going to be someone to buy it, and stuff like that, I did throw out a couple of the helmets, they were just too far gone, and then I listed a couple and stuff like that. So I'll just try to get these guys listed. Um, some of them will be discounted because there's just quite a lot of wear. Some will just be thrown out because there's not much to do with them and stuff. So yeah, then I'll just work on these guys. Then work on some of that stuff and then see how long I work for because I have to sync up the stores. But it's currently 8 p.m. right now. So, oh wait, let's just quickly see over here. Is this the inventory yet? Nope, but let's just see if we can see any um status updates one second let me just grab my chair and then go here to oh my mouse stopped working for a second pending approval and then go down to inventories and then let's just take a look so this one is not it all right so let's look um okay right here checking everything so not sure if that's the admins or not please add images of two minifigures to the catalog so they can be approved and added to the inventory as of december 1 and still to add both minifigures, both hunting approval and extras. So that one still looks like it's probably going to be a while. And so yeah, then it's not much I can do there. So yeah, then I'll just get back to work on these guys. It's now 9.01 p.m. And I finally finished listing the Blast Beast. I did end up throwing out one of the Black Falcon torsos. It was cracked on both sides. One arm was cracked and it has multiple bite marks. And uh, has some other wear and stuff like that. So ultimately, even though it's like a $5 torso, I just didn't go with that one. The other one was still damaged a lot, but not quite to that extent. So I still listed that one. Currently at 269 lots listed this week. I'm getting closer to that 16,000 lots for sale mark. So slowly getting there and um so yeah it's 9 p.m right now so i can uh list a little bit more tonight before i have to start worrying about syncing up the store and everything like that so then i'm probably going to start on oh i dropped a piece on my leg somehow that was weird <clears throat> so i'm going to start a little bit on listing some of the chima stuff and so that's there there's a lot of this stuff to go through but i've got like an hour <clears throat> and a half or so of listing so yeah then i'll probably be able to get a little bit of this stuff listed but not too much i'll probably just still put um all of the uh one by one blue transparent tiles and the orange uh ones with flames back in the container because i do use those uh, and then i don't feel like going back to a drawer to get those all the time if i can remove this okay, there we go um so yeah then i'll probably just start working on this now it's now 10.23, and I'm going to start syncing up the stores, and I don't think, yeah, there's no information on this screen. So I'm just going to start syncing the stores up. There's, um, how much did I end up with for the day, or for the week, I mean, 291 new lots. So let's check. I checked the broccoli dog in the top corner, and so it's at 15,800 lots. So at this rate, since BrickLink's broken again and sales aren't going through again for some reason for most people, uh, with the slow sales as they are, then I'll probably at this rate hit 16,000 lots by next week if I can keep up this pace. And so yeah, this here is the Chima stuff I've left on the table. I sorted and sacked the heads by color, uh, the legs by hip color, and the torsos uh, by color here. Then I put the small armor and the heavy armor 
pearl gold and olive torsos there and then i've got all the different headgears uh, mostly sorted along with two uh, other armor things there and then so in the drawer here i've only got the round tiles and um let's see if i can show it yeah you can see some of the one by one clips which are used on the minifigures as well so overall pretty good uh progress was made today so then i'll just quickly check to see if anything's missing remarks and click go nothing's missing my remarks um near the end over here did i put these okay no for a second i thought i put damage with the good for these ones in the same drawer but i didn't those ones are in this drawer here um but then this minifigure here uh i ended up listing the headgear the torsos as the wrong ones for a minute i'll see if i can quickly get the thing up here um new item relations and then as you can see here let me get these up real quick this one here was listed as flat silver and these ones are pearl dark gray so i couldn't tell the difference for the life of me and so then i eventually realized that it was a different pattern and so then i just added a item relation request because these things are very similar and then if you look at the minifigures i know that the torsos are easy to separate but for some reason just because i assumed that there's only one i just looked at the torso and like oh that's the same torso and then i initially listed them as these torsos when there's actually these torsos but that's all fixed now so then i'll just put this drawer on the side then i can put these two drawers away put this bag somewhere and then this stuff here will be ready for monday when i get back to listing and the garbage drawer is getting a little bit full but i can still close it for now so i won't worry about emptying that again I have to say this is a first for a tracking number. It's currently, its current status is generic. As of December 3rd at 1.39 p.m., it is still generic. So um, I can't say I've ever seen that before. I sold two things from the eBay room, so let's quickly get them. Um, I sold one set. And I already pulled it out the other day from back there sold this copy of toy story for i believe it was 24.99 plus shipping and then over here i believe it's this bag um i sold it let me set it down for a second um let me see if i can find it real quick i think it's this one right here these here are characters from the star wars epic duels board game one second put that back it's uh the game that this stuff is from it's surprisingly a very expensive game or at least it used to be when i listed this stuff i listed like 20 or 30 different of uh, the uh characters for the game and this here's all that i have left they're selling pretty slowly now but they're slowly moving and so then i just sold this guy right here after shipping they paid i think it was just over 20 bucks for him so that was nice and i realized that the uh flash or whatever is still on on the camera so it's a bit bad lighting um but yeah that was a nice sale got a few more to go they don't sell too fast or anything like that but it doesn't cost anything to keep them listed so this is what i sold from the ebay room so i'm just getting to work now just turning on the well i just recorded like a two minute clip and then i looked down and realized that i actually hadn't pressed record so i'll just uh quickly go over what i said basically i'm gonna work on the chima stuff here once that's done then i'll part out these two sets over here and then once that's done um i've got the cart on the side already to pull orders so then i'll have to remember to do that um so yeah then i guess i'll just get to work then yogurt time so currently just working on parting out a set now it is where it is the container uh, over here of the horizon sets both of them got the minifigures over there and then um the non minifigure minifigures from the set were a bit difficult to put together but they're all together now and so it's got all of these bags here left and that's a six so there's seven six three so i'm gonna just work on this a little bit currently parting out uh, the stuff and uh, have some help here so it's currently be sorted out by color and uh, part type and then gets put away later on so the table here probably most of that table and most of this table here is going to be completely filled up with parts by the end of it because there's like 350 lots although they are in general smaller parts so it's not going to take up too too much room um so yeah just uh i'm going to work on this now so then i've got two monitors up here uh one where i enter in the um remarks area for all of them and then on the other screen i have four if i already have the inventory so i can just go down the list i already got the first few away so then the next one up is drawer 6088 i've got those right here so then um once i no, i will just on video i'm doing this one right now but normally i'd fill out this one see this one has red and add that and so on and so forth down the list and so then this one here is 6088 
and this thing is not liking to stay here. So then we'll just quickly bring this over to drawer 6088, which is right here, and put these in the drawer, and then go back and add everything else for the remaining approximately 350 lots. Um, I do have a box of drawers here. This here, I do need about 150 ish drawers for all of it so uh, mostly use a couple of these at least and so yeah then i've already got a few drawers over here for the complete minifigure one minifigure parted out and then the two complete um dino things robots dogs i don't know what they are never played the game before and so yeah then uh, the hair piece sells for over 20 bucks and the head sells for like 15 the torso and the legs about 15 ish each and then the minifigure on its own goes for about 40 or 35 to 40. Uh, so yeah, part of it sells for more, but then it takes way longer to sell because not everyone's looking for that stuff. And so yeah, then that's there. And so then once this is done, it should push me over 16,000 lots in my store, I think. So then I'll check in then. Uh, but then there's a couple new exclusive parts to this set. For example, these cool snowboards here. And then there's also right here, the pearl gold Urukai swords. So I just thought that was interesting. So while listing the set, there ended up, uh, oh, I left all the drawers on the table over there and then went to missing my remarks. Three of them were missing my remarks because I just missed them. And then, um, I was able to find two of them. There was a, um, uh, where was it? There was, um, uh, this one here and this one here were missing remarks. And then there was also two by four light bluish gray plates. There's 10 of them and they're missing their remarks. However, they're not on this table and we haven't the slightest idea where they could possibly be and we've been looking for a while now we checked different drawers and stuff like that we couldn't find them anywhere so we're assuming we accidentally put them in with another drawer uh from something in the set but we went over a whole bunch of drawers and couldn't find anything like that so at this point there's nothing else to do so we're going to have to just quickly go here click delete and that's gone from the inventory but then let's quickly check um here uh we're almost there not quite at 16,000 lots but we're at nine five thousand nine hundred and fifty six. so we're slowly creeping up on the 13 on the 16,000 mark i'm going to get a couple more of these chima containers uh listed and then after that i'm going to start pulling orders but then it's uh all of these things here are now ready to be put away ended up being how many was that again? One second, let me go back to here. And 186 new lots. So that's um, a lot. All of the drawers have now been put away. And as you might see, there's a whole bunch of new containers on this table again. So we brought over all of the Technic stuff and put it on the table there. And on the floor over there, there's a lot of big bags over there. I have to remember to pull orders tonight. And now we've got the new sorting area so this stuff is washed ready to be sorted we've got four full bags upstairs this stuff needs to get washed and then th that was where the stuff was but it's um all finished uh being put into the box here now and then this here is the new sorting area so we got two by threes two by sixes two by eights two by tens rounded four buys um eight buys and two by twos and two by four so overall pretty good there and that's the stuff that needs to be sorted this thing well, should arguably get sorted relatively fast because it's uh one of the easier things to sort there's only a few different variants but now that that's done and the set's being parted out that's overall i'm very happy with the lot count added to the store so far today which is 186 this one hasn't been finished yet um so yeah then 186 should easily be able to break 200 lots today uh listed so i'm now going to now let that drop real quick and then i'm going to start listing some of this chima stuff now it's now almost 9.30, but I just surpassed 200 lots listed. So I'm going to leave this stuff here for tomorrow then. And then I'm going to, hope that doesn't fall over again. And I'm going to quickly now pull orders and then I'll be calling it a day. But before I do that, this drawer is getting a bit full again. So then I'll quickly just go back to the bag over here and then grab the bag. 
And then I'll go over here and then set the camera down and try not to accidentally pause the video this time. Then I'll grab the stuff and then I'll pick up the camera again. And, and there's that there. So then, oh wait, I should probably take the drawer back out and then take that. The drawer can go back over here, put that back and then quickly set the phone down again and then go back remove the air and pick up the phone again and so this here is what it is like and the star wars clones um astromax uh galaxy squad a flag that was just a bit too damaged for me and I put a, I put some accessories in here. As you can see, it's like almost entirely minifigure parts. But then I also put some accessories that people might like as well in here. Uh, just because if they're buying damaged minifigure parts, they probably don't mind damaged accessories too. Uh, so yeah, then there's that there. This bag can still take... Oh yeah, and there's like one Galador arm for some reason. And that fell. And so then this bag still has a bit more room in it. Uh, so once it gets a bit fuller, then I can set the option for that. But that can wait there for now. And so yeah, then I think I already showed that stuff. So yeah, then I'll quickly go ahead and pull orders now. I had 10 orders on eBay. Uh, four or five orders on Brick Owl. And then two on Bricklink. So then I'll just pull that stuff now. And then I'll probably, if I remember that far into the future, check back in once I finish pulling orders. But overall, good progress being made with Chima. Uh, that's all that's left of the Chima. Then I've got three drawers, uh, three small drawers, and two large drawers. And then I'm done catching up on those drawers for now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about these, the empty uh, containers, which I can just put over here. And then, see, so yeah, I'll start pulling orders now. I just finished pulling the biggest brick-wise order of the night. They bought a lot of plates. Um, yeah, they got uh, 80 or $90 worth of plates. So that was a nice sale there. And so then I'm just going back to pull the rest of the orders now. Well, for some reason, BrickLink is not loading on the iPad. So I'll have to just use my phone to pull orders then, I guess. And of course, as soon as I record that clip, it starts working again. The light bluish gray plates have been found now in the lighting. So I'll see if I can clean the camera. Not really much of a difference. But it turns out that they are added to this drawer because that's the page that was up um, when I was adding parts to the inventory. But since those parts sold out while I was uh, parting out the set, they ended up being in uh, the drawer and the remarks missing. So now I just need to go grab the seven that I sold. So that's two, three... Four, five, six, seven of those, and now there should be ten left. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, ten left. So now those guys can get relisted, and I can finish pulling the order. So I think I forgot to show this earlier, but uh, this is a drawer that uh, was from the box over there. Went to use it for the stuff, but then looked at the back. It looks like a few drops of water somehow got on the barcode, and it's not scannable anymore. And I remember a couple of weeks, or it might even be months at this point ago, um, no, maybe a month or so total, uh, someone asked on how to make the barcodes um so i think i might sooner than later at least have a reminder now to create a video on how i actually make the barcodes uh for the drawers since every single drawer has a barcode on it and so i'll try to see if i can remember to do a video on that and eh, it's a telephone and so yeah then i'll uh try to do that but i'm taking a break now it's currently 10 17 p.m and i pulled all of the orders now and uh got Good amount of stuff listed. And so we didn't quite hit the 16,000 lots, but it surpassed 200 for the day. And we're at 15,972 lots for sale. So that's nice. And uh, tomorrow, uh, it's a shipping day, but I should still be able to pass uh, 16,000 lots then. Just getting into work today. It's now, um, I'll check the time in a second. Let me first turn that light on. Make sure that the heater is actually putting warm air out. Yep putting warm air out and not cold air because if it's at um there's different temperatures and if it's uh you see partially how there's two lights there if you move the heating thing just a little bit like right now it's at about an angle like this this here is off this here is on officially or according to the thing but it 
puts out cold air, but then if you put it just at like this temperature, then it puts out warm air. So it's a tough balance to keep it on the low uh, temperature, but if you put it too hot, then it just dries out the air and then it's not fun that way. Um, so yeah, then I have to get it at the exact temperature now. And so let me just quickly get this light here. And so currently it is 1.23 p.m. I got an email, is that a new order or is that just an old one? Cause I haven't refreshed my computer. No, that's just an old one. Um, so yeah, then I do have another order to pull real quick. And so then I'm gonna pull that order. And then I'm probably going to just take a little bit of a break um, before I get to work because it's still a little bit early and I got most of the stuff done last night that I needed to do. And so yeah, then I'll pull the order now. Yogurt time. Time to start um, drying the next batch of Lego. Still have, this is the third batch of two by and up bricks. And there's still one a one possibly two but most likely just one uh, more batch to go so time to start drying it out i just finished rebuilding the ebay cards i was able to actually well i can't forget um let me quickly get it up um before actually i can't show any information uh there uh so yeah then i still have uh two accessory things to see if i can rebuild first but then I was able to rebuild three minifigures and two of them I wasn't. Uh, surprisingly, I wasn't able to rebuild Emmett, but I've sold him like six or seven times now. So I'm just completely out of Emmett parts now. Or at least this one. This guy has one head that is super common, uh, but it, I just don't have any more, I guess. So, wait, why did I put that in there? Oh, uh, yeah, that goes in here. This is the waiting for parts container. Um, almost messed that up. And so, yeah, then I'll just put these guys away. Then I just need to get some more um, Pearl Dark Grey Axe Heads. And then some uh, Long Bows. Some Reddish Brown 4L Bars and stuff like that and i should be able to rebuild some more of the other stuff and this guy goes in here he's an other one he's an old dino uh figure sold for six bucks plus uh parcel shipping to the states so that was interesting um so yeah, then i'm gonna quickly rebuild those uh two accessory things there and then i'll get to listing more shima stuff rare rice cameo just a quick update on the roots of the tomato plant now so this here is what the roots look like from one tomato plant in the hydroponics thing. It's crazy. Yeah, it's very impressive. Uh, tomato plant roots there. And then there's also a whole bunch of uh, plants over here. And they do seem to be doing decently well. This one here has got a lot more. Uh, but then these ones here, let me just turn this light on a little bit real quick. But you can even see... Uh, They've been growing quite well over here. And these ones not as much mass as some of the other ones, but overall still good. And you can kind of see it partially at the right angle. Yeah, you can see a reflection that's filled with water there, cycling through it the entire time. And so yeah, overall pretty good progress. You can see the roots on some of them already. So yeah, pretty cool. Currently just getting to work for the day. Just gonna turn the lights on. The Lego does seem to be drying pretty well over here. Um, I'd say probably 70, maybe 80% dry, and this is not Lego. Yeah, that's Mega Bloks, so I'll have to throw that out. And then turn more lights on. And so this is the last clip for the vlog, so thank you for watching. If you got this far, the next vlog, today is uh, Wednesday, so the next vlog should be out on Saturday. And so now I'll just quickly first throw this thing in the garbage there, turn this light on, and so yeah, I'm going to start working on editing the video now. And yeah, so it's currently 1.20 p.m. So I first have to wait for this clip to upload to the cloud, and then I have to start editing it. I won't be able to do anything else on my computer until then, so then I'll just play a few games while waiting. But I was able to yesterday get a bit more Chima stuff listed. And I currently only have, I think it's, yeah, the torsos and the heads are all that's left from the Chima drawer now. So good progress is being made on that stuff. And, um, yeah, I feel like I was going to say something, but I can't remember in the slightest. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, then, uh, once that's done, then I'll just, uh, I don't know which antenna I was going to do next. Um, I can't remember if I was going to do some of these or if I was going to take a break and go back to listing some regular parts. I might go back to listing some regular parts 
just to break up the monotony a little bit and stuff like that. This one will be a good fun to list. Um, but then that one there will be a nightmare to list. Well, all of those pins are always a nightmare to list. But look how many more pins there are. That's going to take a while. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the vlog if you got this far. And I'm going to start working on editing it now.